What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, welcome. My name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click the subscribe button and stick around. I've only got a few more weeks left in the semester, so there's only going to be a few more college week in my life, but I'll be cranking them out for you guys. I am a fashion merchandising student here at Kent State University. If you guys didn't know, maybe if you're new, welcome. Hey. Um, so last week was actually my spring break. I went home to Maryland, as you guys know. If you haven't watched that week in my life, go check it out. Um, and I came back yesterday Sunday today's Monday when I'm starting off this vlog I figured I just kind of needed yesterday to drive back here unpack kind of get back into the swing of things um, I didn't even get in until four o'clock so I spent most of the night unpacking all my mail I did a little grocery stock up and hung out with Griffith for a little bit and then you know kind of just got my life in order I planned out my week because it's gonna be a busy one and then I went to bed so nothing crazy Crazy. This morning I have got all kinds of filming to do with the packages that came yesterday and I'm going to actually start off by filming a TikTok for David's Bridal. So I've got a big collaboration going on with them right now and they sent over some beautiful gowns. I'm going to be taking pictures in them on Friday but I do want to film the TikToks today. It's is just so gorgeous like nothing nothing makes me feel prettier than a prom gown I love this one um, I've already tried on a navy one and I'm about to hop into the teal and finish up this TikTok. like holy cow I look pretty someone take me to a formal a prom a gala a wedding any of the above works for me let me know applications down below this dress is giving me aquamarine vibes i don't know why i think it's because my hair just looks so blonde right now since it's straight but wow Okay, I filmed two TikToks for David's Bridal and then I was right, on a kick, I, so I okay, filmed okay. five different Please like unboxings of all of the things that came while I was away. And then I went through and took the tags off of everything and removed like the little things that come on the crotch of swimsuits. Honestly, that part and like disposing of all the packaging tends to take like some of the longest parts. So I've got a big box of Zaffle bikinis and a couple of tops here. I got a bunch of suits from a high-end swimwear brand called, I think it's Katomi. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is what it's called, Kotomi Collective, Kotomi, I don't know how else you would say it, I have to look it up before I film. And then I also got a bunch of cup she suits for my April collaboration with them, so lots and lots of new goodies. Oh, and then I also got some new jewelry from, um, it's called Locally Made 13 on Instagram. I'll leave her stuff linked down below. Ignore my hands, they're like really gross still from my spray tan, because I put my hands in front of me instead of behind me on accident. Um. Okay, so she sent over a little ring that says SBM on it. Like, how stinking cute. You can customize them to say whatever, and they're adjustable. You just, like, pinch them together. So I'm going to start wearing this one on my middle finger, and my Ana Luisa rings that I wear every day, I'm going to start wearing on my pointer finger. And then she also surprised me with the cutest little bracelet that says SBM on it as well. SBM stands for Style by McKenz, shortened. Um, that's, like, my little logo. And there's a cute little heart. And I love this kind of bracelet because they're really easy to get on and off on your own it's like one of these where you just like you know can tighten it to whatever and then she sent over a cute little keychain and then this adorable little m necklace i love this kind of clasp right now so i might swap out my m necklace that i have on right now and then she also sent over a little b ring which i'm so excited about because um, my high school's mascot was a hornet so i love having like bees kind of remind me of home so love that like literally look at my hand it's really Really not that bad but on camera it looks so much worse and it's really just like this side of my like ew but anywho okay it is somehow already 11 26 but i am about to film try on portions for the zaffle katomi and cup sheet swimsuits right now i'm gonna knock them all out while i still am tan i still have a spray you know the lighting's really good in here right now i haven't eaten anything yet today so before i eat lunch well, I'm still morning skinny. Um, so yeah, let's let's do this, baby. Just knocked out all three try-on portions for those three brands, which is awesome. And I just dragged over my full-length mirror, and now I'm going to take the mirror photos in each. I always do these. I love having my gray curtains as the background. I'm starting off in the Katomi Collective suits, and then I'm gonna do Cupshe, and then I'm gonna do Zaffle. I use these photos for thumbnails. I use them on my Instagram stories. Sometimes I'll post them to my main feed. It kind of 
just depends, but I want to get this done. I'm going to set an hour timer and hope I can knock them out in that. I've got about like 35 suits, so hoping that an hour um, I can do this in. And while I do that, I'm actually going to charge this camera so that I can start filming sit down portions. So, you know the drill. I've got this kind of routine down to a science. It works really well for me. So, yeah. Finally getting my Week in My Life published. Usually I upload them on Sundays, but today's Week in My Life is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa, so I had to get approval on this video. Just set that live. If you haven't watched it already, you can go ahead and do so. Lots of eating. I met my YouTube bestie and spent a bunch of time with the fam. Taking a quick little food break and I'm eating pineapple. I love pineapple, but does it give anyone else the worst canker sores? Because it gives, it always gives me one because it's so acidic, but mm, delish. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click the subscribe button and stick around. Today I am back with my monthly installment of my cup sheet try on series. Whew, okay, I just cannot stop talking. I feel like all I've done today is talk because I just finished filming, hey Griffith, two different um, sit down portions. So I filmed the sit down portion in my Shein haul, which I filmed the try on before I even left for spring break. Thought that I would film it while I was home, was too lazy, didn't, so I filmed it today. And then I also filmed the sit down for the cup sheet video. I'm gonna do the Katomi and the Zaffle probably on Wednesday because you know, tomorrow's a big school day. I've gotten so much done on my to-do list, as you can tell, so I'm feeling good. It is five o'clock, so we are about to head down to dinner, but I just realized I never showed you what I've been wearing today. So I've got on jeans from Express. These are like my favorite jeans from them right now. I know skinny jeans are quote unquote out, but I love them. And then this little white top has the most adorable puff sleeves. And this is from Zaffle. I actually like tried this on in that try on portion today. And then I've got on my earrings from Shein and I'm wearing my new rings and bracelets that I showed you this morning from Locally Made. So my little SBM, very cute. And now I am, I'm trying to get working on today's blog post. I know it's late, so I'm gonna have to start writing this after dinner because we're about to get called down, but I am planning on uploading three graduation dresses um, that I shot while I was home over break with Meg. Here's a little, little sneak peek of those outfits. I had this really cute dress with the ruffle. Here's Meg's outfit, and then I had this white little jumpsuit, I had a top and jeans, and then I also had this dress, which was the first one. And there's the dinner bell. So many people at dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eric! Did you miss every did you mi did you miss everyone? I missed you guys so How much. How was your spring break? So good, so much fun. How was yours? It was okay. <laughs> Brandon, how's your spring break? My spring break was amazing. I had a blast. Lou, how was your spring break? It was good. It was good? Tonight we're having chicken alfredo, broccoli, and bread. I swear once we eat dinner here, the day just flies by. It's like it's over, but like there's still stuff to do, but like you're unproductive, but not. Like I don't know. Usually after dinner is when I'm social, so our chicken alfredo was really good. Cart and little Michael came over and they ate some leftovers. They kind of just hung out with me for a little bit. And after they left, I got working on this blog post and finally set it live. It's about 9.15 right now. I am sharing some graduation dresses from Lulu's. Like I said, I shot these while I was home and I've got a ton of dresses linked. So I will leave this blog post linked down below too if you guys are on the hunt for a graduation dress. All of these are from Lulu's. I am thinking about doing another um, like separate blog post linking tons of different retailers that I think you should shop from because there are so many other places that are awesome to look for dresses. Princess Polly, Hello Molly, Shopo. Like I have so many retailers. So I think I might do like a 10 places to buy grad dresses blog post too, but I'm gonna save that for another day, obviously, because I am quite, quite tired right now. Shower time. 
Had to make myself a little snacky post shower. I got popcorn with some brownie batter M&Ms and I am about to watch yesterday's episode of Good Girls. Good morning, everybody. Okay, everyone, I have gotten ready for the day. I've got some super simple makeup on, just like my everyday. My hair is straight, and this is what I am wearing today. I've got on white flares from Fashion Nova that really need to be ironed because the bottoms are all wrinkly. And then this cute little like button front sweater is from Romwe. Love the light purple. My everyday M necklace is from the Silver Heron. I've got those Ana Luisa bracelets on and then the new pieces from um, the boutique that I shared with you guys yesterday and then I've got locally made 13 is the name of it my earrings are little pearls from Romley to match the pearls on my sweater and it's just good it's a little bit chillier today it's only supposed to be like 48 I mean not that I'm really planning on leaving anyways but you know it's not looking super nice out so I figured this would be a good outfit I've got a lot of like email related things to do this morning that should take me just like 40 ish minutes and then I am going to get working on schoolwork but first let's get this over with <laughs> Devin just said, I am a bitch. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Secret's out. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be fooled. I definitely procrastinate too, and this project for my visual design and media class was definitely something that I procrastinated. I had all break to do it, and of course I saved it for today. It's not due until midnight, so I'm turning it in 12 hours early, but you know, usually I don't do this. So basically we are designing like Instagram story slides. It's going to be three images. I do this a ton for obviously style by McKenzie, but we had to choose one of these topics that like she gave us so this is a three phase project this is only phase one we could talk about black lives matter COVID 19 wildfires or something that we got approved by her i just chose COVID 19 because i figured it was easy we had to write about 300 words of research what we wanted to talk about and then different ideas that we had for each slide and then we had to go on instagram and find a, a few examples of graphics and like what we thought like we might want to use so for instance i like the idea of talking about blood clots and how other things have greater risks i really like the greens and yellows and the factual images of this i really like this um layout right here and then this one was like hand drawn which i kind of liked the idea of and then we had to do three sketches for two different concepts so basically i just took this piece of printer paper and i folded it into three and so slide one slide two slide three and we had to give like two Two different ideas so here's my first stories and then on the back I have like the other option I really like the first slide like I like the idea of the clock time to get vaccinated rather than get vaccinated but I definitely like these two um, slides better so I basically just submitted those two sketches so it's six sketches in total but technically like two different main ideas so I am about to submit this and then I have class for like this class meets on Fridays at 8 a.m. so we will go into phase two which is actually like coming up with a rough draft you can do this through Photoshop InDesign Illustrator Canva I think I'm going to go the Canva route just because it's the easiest and it's what I'm best at I guess like I have the most experience with Canva so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing but anywho I am just sharing this with her with my professor and I'm done with that let's go grab lunch Lou had chicken nuggets out for us today and I had some chick-fil-a sauce in the fridge so I'm eating that and then I've got some pineapple to eat before it goes bad and they either um, create new yarn out of it um, and then weave it together. Um, or they just use these scraps in sort of color blocking ways or applique ways in order to reuse the material. So almost all of their materials are recycled materials from other factories in their area. Wrapping up my only class of Tuesdays, which is fashion apparel analysis. This was our last like true lecture of the semester. We meet a couple more times, but Today we learned about disposal and the environmental aspect of disposing your clothes. And now we're getting our final project information. Is the thing. Okay? So aware of it, we know what it is and what it does, and the benefits that it provides for us. Also, 
it would be important to let consumers know I had two different marketing lectures to get through today, which is why it took me quite a bit of time, about two and a half hours worth of listening listening to Professor Marks. So today we talked about all the different kinds of advertisements, how much they cost. And this chart right here was so interesting. It kind of made you realize how much brands underpay influencers for what they're doing because of production costs. We also talked about the four P's of marketing in one of the earlier chapters. I don't know, today was a little bit more interesting than usual. So I am happy with that. Um, I still have another lecture on Thursday and we'll take my quiz later this week. Week, but just finished that it's a 445 oh where does the day go oh god <laughs> i've loved tell them what you had for dinner mackenzie got me tacos thanks mackenzie how was it okay, what do you rate what good. do you rate out of 10 um I it wasn't my it, it wasn't my cooking zero. it wasn't my cooking it was once. what do you, you give it a zero 10 out of 10 things that right. feel legal but aren't snow on april 21st are you kidding me are you kidding me i was trying this week to like look super cute each day and like you know kind of get back into my usual outfit swing of things but it's so hard to have motivation to do that when it is literally supposed to be 37 degrees outside today and there's snow on the ground so I think I'm just gonna take it easy as far as like getting ready goes. This little pink set is from White Fox Boutique. Usually I would just wear it as a tank, you know, it'd be nice out, but it's a little chilly obviously. So I've got on a little cropped hoodie from Boohoo over top. And I am still debating if I'm gonna put makeup on or not. I think I might just throw on some glasses and hope for the best, but. Scheduling today's YouTube video, I like to schedule them for noon. If there's like a better time to let videos premiere, let me know. I feel like 12 is lunchtime, so most people like are watching YouTube, but maybe I'm wrong, so let me know. And I am also watching Danielle's College Week in My Life while getting some computer work done, responding to emails. My back is literally killing me from sitting at my desk chair, so I moved over to the couch to get working on my Mother's Day gift guide. I haven't decided if this is going to be today's blog post or if I'm just going to like double post today with fashion looks and this. I don't know yet. But regardless, I just wrote 1,500 words and 20 gift ideas. I still need to go through and link all of these, but it's 1045 and I am so hungry so hungry so i am about to whip up a bagel sandwich i brought back blueberry bagels and i have bacon and stuff so we're gonna do that and then i also took out shrimp and pesto to defrost both of these were in the freezer um olivia is gonna come over for dinner that was my roommate from last year and my future roomie for those of you guys who didn't know but um yeah let's get eaten Today's bagel sandwich looks amazing. Blueberry bagel, cream cheese, I did two scrambled eggs and two pieces of bacon today. Whoa, that was almost bad, but I'll keep you updated. Breakfast was an easy 10. I am back on the couch right now and I am going to start linking items for that Mother's Day gift guide. I'm hoping that this only takes me an hour. Usually linking is the longest part of a gift guide, but fingers crossed I can find some goodies. I'm starting off on Lululemon's site because my mom loves their joggers and stuff, so I want to link a few of those. And while I do that, I'm actually popping on yesterday's episode of All American. I watched it every week if I can't watch it on TV like I missed it last night then I just watch it the next day on the CW TV um, you just put in your like TV provider and you can watch so 
I'll update you when the blog post is finished. So of course it took me much longer than I expected to link everything for this blog post, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So if you guys are in need of Mother's Day gifts, I will leave this blog post linked down below. I linked everything a little bit differently this time because I wanted to leave like my commentary underneath. So I've got different price points for each gift. So we've got a $70 air fryer, we've got a $150 air fryer, we've got a $40 one. Um, I linked a couple of different Dyson air wraps, like a steamer. I have a really high-end one and then an affordable option. I really wanted to knock out all price points and give you guys some really good ideas. So, pleased with how this came together. And this is under the gift guides tab along the top. So, if you drop down, there are a bunch of other gift guides. This will not show up in, like, the regular feed of my blog. So, if you just, like, go to the front page, it's not going to come up. So, you do have to go to the gift guide tab. And then my cup sheet haul went live to YouTube. It premiered at 12. And then on Instagram, I went ahead and linked a bunch of different swimsuits from that haul so that you guys could swipe up to shop. So very exciting. I'm super close to 50k. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Somehow it is 2.30 and my computer is dead, which means it's time for me to move from my couch to my desk. Let's check up and see what I've done today. Nowhere near as much as I've needed to do. I did send the Charleston DMs. I did do the gift guide. I did get the measurements, but that's all I've done. So time to start working on some homework. I'm starting off with fashion apparel analysis today. We have one last lecture and quiz of the semester talking about the supply chain and more of the environmental aspect. We've got a couple of different videos and readings to check out before taking that five point quiz. So yeah, that's where I'll be. Okay, just submitted that quiz and we just had one page of notes today. This was our final lecture for the class and we talked just about a couple of different indexes and sustainability reports that companies can do. And you realize that even super expensive garments are not transparent. The biggest key to sustainability is transparency, not necessarily in how you pay or treat your workers, but in whether or not you say this is how we treat our workers. And you realize that even if you're paying hundreds of dollars for a garment, doesn't mean that you get the full truth. And look who it is! <laughs> Did you miss me? Emily <laughs> finally came back. But guess what? She says, oh, I'm only here for a couple hours. <laughs> She's aggressively packing her stuff to leave. <laughs> no. She's been gone for two weeks. Now she's packing. She's bringing home two plates and a thing of pasta in case you're wondering. <laughs> Two plates. It's stuff that I literally never Tell did. her not to leave. Tell her not to leave. She just got back, guys. She just got back. <laughs> Best Ruby duo. She wants us to win. Okay, we're in the middle of doing like superlatives for our sorority. And people nominated we us for should Best win it. People nominated us for Best Ruby duo as if you're here for more than one day a week. <laughs> that was just rude. <laughs> I couldn't believe someone nominated us. Was it you? I know. How did how, you know that? Griffith can see who nominates who. Oh, okay, I told you Olivia is coming over for dinner. And what I'm going to do is take this caprese from downstairs that Lou had in our um, salad bar. And I'm going to cut up the mozzarella and the tomato. And then I am going to boil some pasta. And I'm going to add this pesto and some shrimp. I've done this with chicken before and it was so good, like an easy 10. But I don't have rotisserie chicken, so I'm gonna do it with shrimp. I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna go. Uh. Cart! You got dinner left? Do you want some? Come with! Uh, it's been forever since I know. it's just been Olivia and I. I don't think we have like... It's. I don't think we have this whole oh, semester. Maybe the whole year. Yeah, I thought about that right before I came we over. We used to eat dinner together. We'd go to the dining hall together a ton. Mm -hmm. But if she does come over, Krista and Lauren are here. But tonight's just us. All right. I don't know how good this is going to be. So we'll come back. We'll test it out with the shrimp. But it looks good. So that's mm -hmm. what counts. Morning shower time. It is obviously Thursday morning. Olivia came over last night for dinner at 5.30 and did not leave here until 8.30. We talked for literally so long. And then I just sat and like looked at my phone and then I was talking to some friends. Um, 
until like midnight. I didn't even go to bed until like 12.30, but oh well. Woke up at nine and I just took a shower, like a real good scrub, wash my hair, shave, exfoliate, because today is my first laser hair appointment at um, the Neo Skin Center. I got a facial right before I went back to school and I'm getting my armpits and my bikini area lasered. And I'm doing this like as part of a partnership on Instagram. I'm really, 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 really excited. Laser is something that I would 100% be willing to pay for on my own. But it's even cooler that I get to do it um, for a partnership. And it just reminds me like how grateful I am, how lucky I am to get to do the kind of things that I do because of style life. So that's exciting. Um, I just put on obviously another White Fox set. I really want you guys to know I am not bullshitting you when I say that I wear their clothes all the time. Like I actually, actually every day of the week, at least one point during the day, I wear one of their sets. I just put this on because it's still like 30 degrees outside and I my hair is sopping wet. I don't feel like doing my makeup right now. I kind of just need to get the day started. So we're just going to wear this for now. I don't know what you're supposed to wear to the appointment. I need to go like look. Um, like, I don't know if you're supposed to wear baggy clothes, um, like a tank top, you know, like, I, I don't really know, but I need to look. First, let's put my bed in order. I feel like people are like, oh, make your bed every day. Guys, making your bed, like, actually takes 60 seconds. I mean, I don't, like, tuck the corners in or everything. I pull the, the stuff up to the top, and then I just put the pillows in an order that looks kind of kind of cute kind of profesh and then you just fold the blanket at the end of your bed it's really not that complicated so you know anyhow Corinne's coming today as well but she is actually gonna be staying at one of her other friends house tonight and so I still have like an extra day to like kind of clean and stuff but I do want to like scrub our counters and clean the bathroom and like stuff like that later tonight just whipped up a little bagel sandwich for breakfast. Just one scrambled egg today. Like blogs and search engine optimization and social networks, try to attract social network users to the marketer's website. How? By providing something of value. Information, news articles, uh, 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 blogs. And to create a community of followers. Okay, wrapping up today's marketing lecture and this one was super interesting we are going into a chapter talking all about social media marketing so this is basically my job just in school form so i am learning right now how the people i communicate with email with and pitching myself to we're basically learning about the things that they're looking for and the things that they do and that is just why i love my major so much is like everything that i learn in class i'm able to apply the next day and it's such an advantage to study that and to be in the influencer world, content creation, YouTube, blogging, Instagram, because I know how to pitch myself in a way that brands are looking for because I'm learning the skills that they are taught, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like reverse psychology almost, but I love it. I think it's so interesting. And I'm glad that we're finally doing stuff in marketing that's not so like economics focused. I love social media marketing. I love that kind of stuff. Like I'm a nerd for like learning about that kind of stuff, but like, um you know the supply and demand chain or the supply and demand graphs and all that kind of stuff like i'm not that doesn't like strike my fancy so just wrapped up that lecture and now i'm going to read speaking of things that i learned that i can automatically apply right now we are reading a couple of different chapters for fashion branding and this one's all about the eyewear eyeglass market and they're talking about warby parker and how they were one of the very first people to sell glasses online and they do the send five try them on at home and see what you like this company really did revolutionize online like purchasing of glasses and Warby Parker was my very first sponsorship ever for Style by McKenz in 2016 in October I will try to include a picture here so that you guys can see um, I got sent their five frames I did not have like I still don't have a prescription or anything like that I just wanted to try out like fake glasses were really big then and 
like it's so cool to learn about these brands that like I've gotten to work with like single-handedly firsthand seeing how their marketing and their PR and all that stuff works like how cool and what a blessing like I'm finishing up my quiz right now and there's a couple of questions on Warby Parker and I just that's so cool quiz is complete I got one question wrong but oh well I'll take it okay I just finished up a few other school related things and now I am putting on my shoes and socks because I need to leave for my laser hair appointment in about 20 minutes. But at two, I need to post my Grubhub content and I want to like, as soon as I finish that, just be able to run out the door. So I'm putting on my white platform Converse. I was planning on getting dressed into something else today, but of course, I figured like I need to be in something super loose and comfortable and easy to like get in and out of. So I figured I might as well just leave the white fox set on. Underneath I'm wearing a little set from Bamboo. They have the best bralettes ever. Sustainably sourced materials. It's really, really soft cotton and they have matching undies too. I love their sets. I wear them all the time. They have boy shorts, thongs, lace, like you name it. But anywho, all right, this is what I look like. Also, I get a lot of questions about my natural hair. This is my natural hair. I never wear it natural, like, ever, because I don't really like it. If it's, like, summertime and I'm, like, at the beach, then I don't care, but it's not that cute. That's how my car starts, because I haven't been outside. This is the first time I'm even stepping outside since Sunday. How pathetic. Yeah, I'm not a good example at all when it comes to, you know, balance, but oh well. All right, let's roll. All right, time to get lasered by my people at the Neo Skin Center. Hudson and it's literally like the cutest little strip of restaurants stores and other smaller businesses so anywho I just got out of my appointment it literally was so quick my appointment was at 2 45 and it is 305 so it was so fast basically like it was nothing like I expected it to be I don't know what I expected laser hair removal to be like but it wasn't that so as you guys could see in the footage, it's like those flat, really bright flashes. I choose to look away just because I don't like want to see what's going on, I guess. Um, but it's very, it's hot, but like, I don't even know how to describe the feeling. It's kind of feels like someone is taking like a jade roller, but that is like, hot it is kind of uncomfortable when they get towards like this area where it's like really sensitive skin and on your bikini line obviously that whole area is a little more sensitive but still I think it's so worth it so and it's really quick like I said the whole process itself only took five minutes to do all three areas so for that like it's it's not painful, it's just uncomfortable, but that discomfort's only for like a short amount of time. So if you mention me, you get 15% off your first service, just so you know, but look what it is. Two packages in the foyer for me. One from Windsor, one from Forever 21. Okay, these two boxes of goodies were really, really good. So I'm gonna do, not a try on haul, just like a little, you know, hold it up, show you haul. All right, so I got a bunch of different white dresses for graduation style blog posts and stuff coming up. All these will be on my Instagram and blog pretty soon. I will leave links down below too so that you guys can shop. I grabbed this little like white bodycon one. I really like this one. I think this is perfect for like college graduation pictures just like a V in the front and then it's got a couple of straps along the back. I got a black one because I know a lot of schools are black. This would look really good under your um, cap and gown, you know? And then I did get one long white one that I thought would be gorgeous for grad pics. Um, I will be taking my graduation pictures next summer. So before I go um, abroad for fall 2022, 
then I will be taking my grad picks just because I am graduating in December and I want to do it while it's nice out and I'm still in Kent. So that was from Windsor. And then I got a bunch of stuff from Forever 21. Guys, I literally, Forever 21 has been stepping up their game big time. I got so many good things. So this whole box was $335. Um, and I got a lot, okay? So first I got black platforms, super trendy. We're seeing a lot of 2000 styles come back. Um, and I got three pairs of socks. I needed new, like, roughly cutesy socks to stick out of my Converse. So I got white, black, and then this is just a pair of lettuce hems. They're not, like, the same ruffle. I got a few pairs of denim. Okay, I got these black, like, little cropped flare-looking jeans, and they've got some serious rips going on in the knees. They were on sale for, like, $15. Then I got these boyfriend jeans. I'm not sure how these are going to fit yet. I haven't tried anything on, but I really liked the rip in them in the knee. I thought that was cute. Might cut the bottoms off because I like raw hems better. And then I got these denim shorts and I got these ones, which I really, really like. These are a mom style, like the Bermuda style short. Usually I don't wear shorts that long, but I really want to try it out because I've been seeing them everywhere. And then I got tons of basics, like so many basics. Okay. So I got this top in three colors. Forever 21, their seamless line is absolutely incredible. I have a couple of tops from it already and I wear them all the time. They're really great with joggers or just, you know, a pair of jeans and like a hoodie layered over top, a flannel layered over top. Um, and I like them because they're double lined so you don't have to wear a bra underneath of them and the white is not see-through. I get questions from you guys all the time about what kind of bras I wear under my stuff. Um, my like strappy tank tops and stuff most times i am braless if i am wearing a bra then i'm wearing the sticky bra that i will leave linked down below it's 16 dollars. it's from target i've been wearing it since my junior year of high school literally like my go-to sticky bra i go through phases where i like to wear a sticky bra with everything and then i go through phases where i'm like free the nip whatever but a lot of white things are really like see-through for me like you can see my nipples right through um so you know, for the sake of white, I usually do wear that sticky bra, but all these white pieces are like super double lined, which I love. So I got this black seamless tank and it's a really good crop. And then it's got a couple of different, um, like crisscrosses in the back. So I got that in white as well. And then I also got it in this color because I really liked it and thought it'd be cute with jeans. Um, and a pair of like sandals for, you know, little post beach, beach day vibe. Okay. And then I already have this tank top in black. So I grabbed it in white. Some of these are listed and marketed as bralettes and I just wear them as tank tops. I had this in black already. I love it. It's super flattering and there's adjustable straps. So that's great. I got an extra small in all of these pieces. If the small size available was a small, then I got the small. Um, and then I got this seamless one. This one's a little bit different because it's just two straps like going up rather than crisscrossing, but a little gray option. Okay, and then I got this shirt in white and black too. When I find basics, I always grab them in white and black um, just because I like to have both color options. This one is just a cute little cropped tee with lettuce hems. I love lettuce hems. And this is like a much longer crop. Like as you can, for reference, here is my waistband. So it meets my waistband. Um, and I don't know, I think that's super cute. This one's seamless as well. So again, you don't have to wear a bra. I got it in white too. Very, very cute. Lots of basics. I'm thinking about doing a like basics you need kind of blog post or something like that. So let me know if you want to see that. Then I got these white like terry cotton like little sweat shorts. Very, very cute. I thought those would be cute with this little sports bra. I probably will just wear this as a crop top because that's that's my vibe. I don't really work out all that much. But cute little like acid wash gray. This was like $8. Like everything was so cheap when I ordered. They were having like an additional 20% off. I got this little yellow bodysuit, seamless, and it's got a thong style bottom, which is absolute best, and it snaps. Like, pop off Forever 21. Okay, I also grabbed this ribbed tank top in olive green. I love olive green. This one's not the same material as all the other tops. The other tops are a nylon spandex blend, which is why they're super stretchy, double line, seamless. This one's still a really soft material, but there's a little bit of cotton and polyester in this, so it feels different. This oversized tee, um, probably will wear as a dress because I'm only 5'2", so as you can tell, like, I can wear this as a dress. Thought that'd be cute with Converse and cute little crossbody bag. I also got this top. This will be adorable for, you know, a little post-beach post day dinner with a pair of jeans, sandals, gorgeous color. 
And then I got a couple of different workout sets. I got these neon green biker shorts and I, it came with this little top. I think they were sold separately. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'll leave it linked down below. This feels like a literal t-shirt. Like it's such a soft material and there's pads in it guys. So you could honestly wear this as a tank top. Like it looks like a tank top. Well, it's a sports bra, but like, you know, you could wear it as a top with jean shorts and get away with it and then i got this camo set these shorts look so stinking small but i have a really flat ass so hopefully it'll fit um sorry for cussing they're gray camo super cute more of like a cottony kind of material so i'm not sure how great they would be for like a high intensity workout but um i just wanted to like get some short sets to kind of lounge around in and then this is what the sports bra looks like honestly it's more of a tank top not really sports bra but cute and then I also got this white sports bra because it just looked adorable. Again, something that I could wear with like a little tennis skirt. It's got a ruffled bottom and a pretty deep V. I have a very similar sports bra in black from Target and I love it, wear it all the time. So I was excited to find that in white. And then I got this little two piece set. This is the floral top. Very cute, you can wear this with a pair of denim shorts or you could wear it with a matching skirt. We've got a cute little like tie ruched side. Very, very, very cute. Love that. And then last but certainly not least, I grabbed this dress that I thought was a white dress, but it's like a light marble. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's still really cute. Um, another good grad option, you know, with a pair of heels. Love a little satiny cowl neck moment. So that was like a lot of stuff. Like, does anyone else feel like that was a lot of freaking clothes for four pairs of pants? I got like 20 tops, like gosh, and a pair of shoes. So I'm actually like, I know you guys probably wanted to see me try all that stuff on, but um, I didn't. So follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram because I will be trying them on on both those places. I think I'm going to film an outfit of the week next week so that I stop wearing, you know, sweatpants every day. So it's nine o'clock now and I just pre-wrote my first blog post in months. Like I used to always write my blog posts the day before it went live and it would like, they would all go live at 9 a.m. And then like just you know life started to happen and now i almost always write my blog post the day of it used to be that i would get my blog post up by like 12 on monday 12 on wednesday whatever i post monday wednesday friday sunday and lately i've been getting my blog post up at like nine o'clock at night like at any point during the day like as long as it gets up on those days <laughs> and i just like i really want to get back into a routine it's just hard when so much is going on with school. This has been like the most chatty day of this vlog. I'm sorry, but I just can't shut up because no one's here and I have no human interaction. So I resort to talking to my camera. But regardless, um, I did write this blog post for tomorrow because Corinne's here and I wanna be able to just have fun. I need to film something in the morning. I'm going to take pictures tomorrow at 11.30. Griffith's gonna help me shoot some David's bridal looks. So I just wanted to knock this out of the way. So I finally sat down and pre-wrote this blog post. It's scheduled for 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm shooting three at Black Tops. These outfits I literally shot like five weeks ago when Madison was here. That tells you how long ago they were. But I am all out of blog photos. These were like the last that I had, so. Oh well, blog post is scheduled and I also hit 50k which is part of why um, part of what I was doing. I have gotten so many sweet messages not only from you guys but honestly mostly from my friends because I posted to my Snapchat story first and so I heard from Mike and Carr and um, all my roommates and my friends from home and like you know Molly and Megan and all my like blog related friends and stuff and it was super special just like taking some time to say thank you and um really soak up those congratulations I guess and then usually like snapchat would be where I post it first just because like I'm excited it's in the moment and then I like to do something like a little not formal but like you know then I screenshot and say something from the heart on Instagram. So I've been respond trying to respond to some DMs and stuff. I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to you yet, but 50,000, what a special milestone. I hit 10,000 subscribers on May 27th. So we are a little less than 11 months um, later hitting 50K, which is insane. And my roommates and I, Olivia and Lauren, my roommates for next year slash my roommates from freshman year, we always joke like, I hope that we are celebrating 100k when we're in Italy together and Florence studying abroad and it just feels like it felt so far off in the moment and then I think to myself like 
a year and a half like from now yeah like that is really realistic like i do hope that we're celebrating 100k drinking a, bo a bottle of wine like sitting outside like you know soaking up the views of florence italy like i hope and so i feel like 50k was my next like huge milestone and while yes 60 70 80 like honestly every thousand every hundred is still so special but like i feel like from 50 then 100 is the next like super big one so we are trying to plan some time to celebrate next week and just get a bunch of our girls together get a backdrop dress up take photos whatever go to dinner or something special um but in the meantime we are going to be you know just taking it easy and saying thank you and I'm just so grateful guys I really really am getting our final exam and project dates for my 8 a.m class I'm looking much more presentable right now than I have been the last few days. I just put on some lashes and I did a little bit more of a dramatic contour because I am going to be taking those dress photos today. I just have been watching Brooke Michio, um, her NYC Days in My Life, and before that I watched Keaton Milburn's vlog about moving to Portland. I go through big phases with Keaton. Like, I will watch every single one of her videos and then I won't watch for like weeks but she is the reason why I post hour-long vlogs because I love her videos and they're always like what I would put on Sundays while I was like getting things done doing laundry finishing up a school assignment whatever when I get ready and do my makeup like that's the prime time for me to watch YouTube um, but she is the reason why I post hour-long videos and I just can't shut up so that's also why but anywho okay I'm gonna go do my hair I didn't rewash it and honestly I hate when I wear my hair natural on day one here and then curl it day two but oh well I was lazy and didn't feel like rewashing it so my curling iron for all of you guys wondering is the t3 curling iron I'll leave it linked down below mine's actually from Costco they have them available like at Ulta and stuff but they're like only like $60 I think from Ulta which is like half the price of them um, normally so I will curl my hair three two one okay I'm really struggling with this hair length if I'm being honest I know it's not like super short but it's definitely shorter than um, my hair before I got it cut so the curls are kind of sitting weird but oh well I'm just gonna stop playing around with it because you know when you just start to like redo one piece and then it's another and then it's another and then it's another like that's not gonna work so oh well um anywho okay i have my sheets in the wash right now so i'm about to go switch them and then i'm finally gonna change out of this sweatshirt uh, finally finally let me blend my nose contour a little bit more um and then i'm actually going to film a sit down sit down um portion of my katomi swimwear haul i filmed the try on on monday so many cute suits guys like i really 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 like their stuff i know i do a lot of try on hauls like specifically dedicated to a brand and i think that way it's just easier for you guys to kind of get like the full gist of a company size and shipping rather than like me putting try on hauls in vlogs because then you can't find and pinpoint where that content is um, to refer back to but I really really liked their stuff like it made me look so snatched and I haven't worked out in a hot minute I haven't even been on a walk because it's been so cold here so definitely check them out I'll leave their stuff down hey below everyone but. welcome back to my channel if you're new hello welcome my name is Mackenzie make sure to click the subscribe button and stick around today I am back with another swimwear haul you guys have been fresh sheets out of the dryer let's make my bed and honestly like i had just gone like this for the sake of the video i was just filming doesn't look so bad with the pink on it but let's make it speed roll now this pink blanket so much it's from Amazon I think I'll try to leave a link down below if I remember roll over that ottoman 
good to go. All right, time to change for this photo shoot. Cheers. Hello, everyone. We, How are you? <laughs> we are shooting prom dresses today. She's helping me zip up currently. We are on our last of the four dresses, actually, right now. Yeah. This purple one is, I like the blue one, but I also love this one. Like, they're pretty for different reasons. We shot two at the communications school, two here at Merrill. Um, because these are the best columns in the whole world. Yeah. The prettiest school. Mark my words. We're gonna give you some behind the scenes, but I have to hold on because I'm about to trip. Griffin said, tell me why I feel like the mom from the blind side right now. I, but like, I just like, when I got dressed this morning, I was like, Michael, this okay. is your team, your family. <laughs> SJ, get over here. <laughs> dresses but grad dresses there's only that one long white one oh uh, yeah but uh, anyways yeah. bye everybody look who's here everybody <laughs> <laughs> my angel is back Hello. back where she belongs <laughs> she should have never left all right we came to barrio and she was here yesterday this is one of my besties from home slash kent i always ex try to explain corinne and i'm like it's complicated but we got Fario, I got chicken, cheese, pineapple salsa. Corinne's got the same, but just no salsa. We got queso, and we got lots of sides today to try all the sauces. Okay, um, we're rating our dinner. It's really early, like it's 525. We weren't even there for an hour. They were so quick today. The service was good. It's good when you come early. Okay, Corinne, what do you rate your meal? One out of 10. Um. Probably a six. Yesterday was a better. Six? Yesterday was better, I do have to say. And I Why think so low? Fine, an eight. And then <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday was a ten. Yes, no, why was it a six? What would have made it better? I don't know. My tacos were better. And I was like full. Like when we got there from the chips, so. Well, I'm gonna give today an eight. I thought it was good, but not the best I've ever had there, but the queso was good today. It was. I'll give them that maybe an eight and a half. And I met a subscriber there, which was exciting. So, Macy, yeah. if you're watching this, thank you for saying hi. Okay, Rennie and I are home for dinner. We've just been doing so much talking. Like, she got here at two, we talked until four, and now we got home from dinner. We just talked for like another 45 minutes. It's what we're best at. But anywho, I just changed into leggings from 90 Degree by Reflex. I've gone on sneakers from Adidas. These are like my new favorite sneakers. They are like the Z, I think they're the ZX Boost. They are men's and I'm just wearing them in the size five. They fit like perfect for me. Um, and then my hoodie is from Boohoo. Something super chill. We are about to head to that little like trail that's right down the street. It's, uh, I don't even know how to describe where it is. All right guys, we're walking along. I think it's the Tannery. Portage. Tannery Park. Tannery Park. It's like right by Kent and Corinne and I just walked probably like two miles at least. Probably more than that. Good, we're walking off our tacos. I'm showing Corinne the house, giving her a house tour. This is my first time in the study room this week. I just thought you guys should know since you always give me a hard time about living up here. I've been at my desk. Oh. Saturday morning, Corinne and I didn't end up doing anything last night. We just kind of sat, talked, did whatever. This morning is a very sad day because I have to take down this gallery wall. I move out, I'm not exactly sure what, when I'm moving out yet, but within the next three weeks, like there's no way I'll be here later than May 14th. So Olivia and Lauren, I'm Krista, that's who I'm moving in with next year. They're staying in the same apartment. I've told you a hundred times, I'm just moving into the fourth room there. 
um, and the person who lives in that room is moving out. So Olivia's mom is here this weekend and she is actually like we figured this would just be the easiest time to take this down because we're going to hang this up in their apartment and since her mom is here and is really good at like leveling and all that kind of stuff we're just going to take these down now and kind of you know rehang it today i'm not 100 percent sure where they're going to go in their apartment um just because they like already have some stuff over the couch we might end up putting them in the kitchen instead but regardless, those two were hung on nails, and then the rest of everything is command hooked onto the wall. So we're just going to take those down. I'm sad. This is my favorite part of this room, without a doubt. So at the end of an era. Expectations or budgets, I know that I'm susceptible to the show because I'm so close to the kids. That is so depressing, guys. I mean, come on, this was the homiest part. But oh well, we are headed to Over Easy for breakfast. Basically, if you ever come to visit me, all we're gonna do is eat. Um, Corinne loves Over Easy, so do I. One of my favorite brunch places. It's like 9.45 right now. We woke up pretty early. But I have got on a blue little workout set from Ellie Activewear. It's super cute. I haven't worn it yet. It's got scallops in the back and scallops along the bottom. My shoes are the same Adidas from yesterday. And then I'm wearing this white little hoodie zip up from Shein. I'll leave it linked down below. I wear it all the time. Corinne, how'd you sleep in your bed? Great. She slept on the couch the night before, so this was an upgrade. <laughs> All right, we have a little bit of a wait at Over Easy. So we came to Tree City, which is right next door. And they have such good coffee here, Corinne says. I don't drink coffee, but they have tons of like cheesecake and scones and all these cute things. And they're family owned, so come support them. Tell them, show them what you got, Corinne. Shut up. <laughs> Show them what you got. Macaroons. She got two macaroons for like four dollars. All right, Over Easy's morning tacos are the world's best. Um, Corinne got hers on the side, like her toppings on the side. I just got them all together. They're like, a, it's a lot of food, but this is ten dollars, guys. Like, I don't think you understand how much food you get for what it is. So we'll come back. Okay, rating time for the breakfast tacos. We're gonna say, because we got the same thing, I'm gonna count down from three and then we're gonna say your rating out of 10 at the same time, okay? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. 10. Nine. Oh! <laughs> okay, I was gonna give it I a 10. I missed it more than you probably did. Uh, like, I would give it a 10, but some, the, my eggs were a little cold today. Like, they weren't like really hot, so like, whatever. But I couldn't even eat the last one. Like, I ate like two and a, I was like eating the third and I was like, I'm actually going to puke if I keep eating this because that's how much food it is. Yeah, I'm pretty full. But I love, they have the best home fries there. And I did eat they're all so much better with the morning tacos because they put, they drizzle that stuff on it. Yeah. Anyways, all right, good. Well, we're coming back to Brico tonight for dinner right here. Um, so you'll say, all right, we've made our way to Target and we are in the like home decor section. And this is making me so excited to decorate my room next year. And I'm thinking now, being here, that I might switch up the pink and the gray. I might go for something super farmhousey. really, I don't know, like I just wanna switch it up. Like look how cute all this stuff is. But I also don't wanna buy all new stuff. Obviously I'm not getting anything right now. Um, I still have some months before I move into the other apartment. I move in in August, but still, this is making me eager and excited to decorate like look at all the plants i love the round like mm, maybe i want some greenery no shopping and okay i got two balloons for 50k just the small kind i did these when i celebrated five years of the blog so we're gonna hang these up on a backdrop next week um when we celebrate and then i got this from target so it's like a cute little like rose gold thing and then I stopped in Ulta because I needed a concealer and I had a gift card left over. So I love the e.l.f. camo concealer. If you like the Tarte Shape Tape, this is a very good dupe for that. 
And then I got my favorite lip liner because I was out. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Because Duh. So, there you go. Friend, did you get anything? Oh yeah, you yeah. did. You got shorts. You got shorts and jeans. Right, everybody, we didn't do anything when we got home. We just sat and talked. Shocker, for two hours. And sat on TikTok. Both of us did TikTok. Rep go now, one of my favorite places. They need their full menu back because I missed the coconut shrimp. Um, but we got, what is this? The Cajun chicken and noodles. It looks good, but we're waiting on silverware. And Corinne, whoa, got zoodles. Zoodles? <laughs> Zoodles for the gluten-free option. So we'll come back. I've never gotten this. I've gotten many dishes from here, so we'll see how it is. Oh boy, I'm home and I'm full. We already changed into our Spanx. I have gotten Corinne hooked on Spanx. Tell them, Corinne, what a wonderful influencer I am because I've influenced her on their regular faux leather and on the their Spanx jeans. jeans. Yeah, those are even better, actually. She loves the Spanx jeans. Okay, what do you rate tonight's dinner? I rate it like... Okay, because I know what I'm going to rate and I think it might be the same, but I don't know. I would say... We had the same thing, just you had zoodles. Like a five, only because I wanted the gluten-free noodles, and I think it would have made it taste better. A like five. the zoodles are like watery. Five is sad. I was going to give it a six because... I'm more excited. There were just... Like there are so many better things on their menu, I think. And I'm just not a big spaghetti person. I was be debating between the shrimp Alfredo and the Cajun chicken. You have the pretzel. The pretzel chicken. chicken, like, I don't know. I just, it was good. The chicken, my chicken was piece was really spicy and like yeah, I can handle, I can handle a lot of Cajun kick. Like I use Cajun seasoning a lot here and I was like, whoa. But I don't know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't what I expected. But we're getting ice, ice cream, cream sandwiches to make up for it, guys. All we've done, <laughs> <laughs> all we've done is eat and talk, but that's all we ever did when you lived here anyways. Uh -huh. We'd meet up once a week for dinner and eat and talk for three hours and then do it again in a few days. Me a cookie witch. I'm not mm -hmm. showing her. Well, I'll show your sandwich. Mm -hmm. She got the gluten free cookie, and Lauren's here eating all kinds of. Uh, I haven't. Of I haven't cream. seen you since we got back. Did you miss me? Did no, you have I a good did. Time break. When? I haven't. Stop. That's so sad. Bye, Rennie.